Hi, I'm Gordy. Gordy is a name that my brother came up with when we were little. He called me Gordon for like, we have we don't know why. Um, he called me a lot of things and that was a name that stuck. Um, and my sister shortened it to Gordy and my family would always call me that, never call me Sophie, my real name. Um, and then a couple of years ago, well, I guess five years ago now, um, I just, yeah, I mean, we, we thought it was kind of a good idea to go under a different name to just, I don't know, keep some sort of anonymity or just separate them for my own sake. Um, and yeah, I, I just, I stuck with it. Although at first when I started doing it, I was so uncomfortable with going by that name that I wouldn't introduce myself at shows. So I would play a whole show and then get off the stage and people would be like, we had, have no idea who you are because you didn't say your name. So I've come to terms with that. I've always lived, uh, you know, 20 k, well we say kilometers, but a little while out of town. Um, it's a town of about 2,000 people. So can, can, most people say Kanawindra, but it's Kanoundra. Yeah, I guess I, I kind of grew up on a farm out there. I guess the biggest way it influenced me was that there was kind of a lot of like free time and a lot of kind of space to, to create stuff in. Um, and it was a really supportive community. So any time there was kind of performance opportunities, I really felt the weight of kind of the whole community um, behind me. And even now, any time anything happens, like, you know, it's on, um, it's in the Canoundra News, so they're, they're still very, um, very supportive, which is really important to me. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, growing up there, listening to my mum's records, like Billy Joel and Carl King and James Taylor, um, that was probably the biggest influence that stayed with me. I'd love to collaborate with, like, Carol King and James Taylor, because especially Carol King, like, she wrote every good song of the last, like, 30 years, so um, I think, yeah, she'd be my number one. Probably a pretty pretty major event for me was going to boarding school um, so I went away to school when I was 12 um, to Sydney so I left my parents um, in Canoundra and it was you know for a, for a better sort of better opportunities you know um, I, they were more readily available available to me in Sydney but um, yeah I guess it's probably impacted me the most because that's when I started writing um, I sort of I you know as an adolescent normally you have a lot kind of going on um, emotions wise but it's really magnified when you're kind of forcing yourself to become so independent because you're living away from your parents um, you know just surrounded by 200 other kids your age so um, that was a really kind of formative experience for me and really put me in touch with you know I guess my own emotions and, and then I, I was forced to funnel that through some channel and that ended up being a creative channel by writing songs. In 2011 I went to see a show um, of an Australian artist named Missy Higgins and she was playing a show in Sydney and I remember walking out of that show and just thinking that that's kind of what I had to do you know like I, the way I felt when I came out of that show was kind of the way that I wanted to make people feel and um, I was always going to write music no matter what whether I pursued it as a career or otherwise and the biggest thing that I missed was performing. Um, you know, you get to perform all the time at school, but I sort of, I the performing part of my life had kind of stopped and I, I missed it so much. So it just sort of felt like this kind of, yeah, this thing that I had to do. And I guess going to that live show really reaffirmed it for me. So I, after I saw that show, I went home that night and I uploaded a demo to a website called Triple J Unearthed. And so the, the main kind of alternative radio station in Australia is called Triple J. Um, and if you're, you know, a non kind of commercial artist in Australia, that's like, that's sort of, that's your big ticket, um, you know, getting a song on Triple J. So uh, the Unearthed program kind of nurtures young emerging artists and I put a song up on that. Um, and out of that, I kind of got one, you know, a, an offer to play at a show. And I just kind of kept, you know, got a band together, kept playing shows for a number of years until I eventually decided to properly record a track um, and I uploaded it to Unearthed at the end of 2014. Um, and then it, it got picked up by the main station and got played. Um, and yeah, just kind of, I kept putting out music and it kept being supported by Triple J and, and from there it sort of got picked up elsewhere, I guess. Uh, Reservoir will be my debut album, which comes out in August. And um, the name Reservoir is kind of, it's basically, I've, it's always been a term I've like referred to as you know, it's like this this space that everyone has inside them where you keep things, you keep memories and you keep kind of feelings that you don't want to think about every day. And it's, um, you know, I guess it's like a little vault in a way. 
Um, and I have always gone to that place in order to write. And now, you know, like I've sort of explored it more as its own space, what the sort of things I keep there, the sort of things I think about when I'm sitting in that space. Um, and yeah, it was that kind of thing that I've been thinking for a long time, what I wanted to call the album. And then suddenly it, it, I just, the reservoir, which is, you know, I'd always called that place to begin with. I was like, of course, that's what it's going to be called. I'm a big sports fanatic. I, I would watch pretty much any sport other than car racing on TV. Um, I love to cook, I love to go out. Um, and yeah, you know, I mean, I live in an, in an area of Sydney. <laughs> I live in an area of Sydney where we have a really lovely kind of park near it. So, um, you know, getting outdoors and um, going for walks, going to the beach, that sort of stuff. I am also um, studying a medical degree outside of music so that's I wouldn't say a hobby or, a, or necessarily a passion but it's something that I do. I'm in my final year of medicine now so um, my sixth year and I have my final exams in September which now I've broadcast so everyone will know if I pass or fail <laughs> um, but yeah I, I you know I don't know I want to finish the degree um, and maybe there'll be a time you know in between albums where I have some time to like do some um, do some time in the hospital but um, yeah, I, I want to finish the degree, but for now, kind of, this uh, music is, is the, the priority, I guess. My favourite book right now, I'm reading um, a book by an Australian author named Hannah Kent, um, who is a really beautiful writer. Probably one of my favourite films that I've seen lately is Arrival, um, with Amy Adams. I think it's like, I'm not usually a big sci-fi person, but... Um, that's yeah one of my favorites um, <laughs> music I I'm listening um, listening to another Australian artist Julia Jacklin a lot um, a New Zealand female artist Aldous Harding um, and the new record that just was released by Al Skier, the Icelandic artist um, called Afterglow what's next um, going home I've been away on tour for kind of almost six weeks so I go home in a few days which I'm excited about um, and then I've got some a run of shows in Australia, um, su supporting Askia, um, and also my own shows. And then I'm coming back to the States in August for um, a headline tour. Um, and then the album comes out in September, and then uh, in, in August, end of August, and then following that, um, we'll see. Wow. Excellent. Thanks. <laughs> That's all right. Good to get the album release right. <laughs>